I'm not gonna lie, the lashes would have killed this look, but I ain't got none. So, it's what it is. Take me as I am. Holy. What is up? It is your girl Simone here. Before we get started, let's just take a moment to laugh at these lashes that I have on my eyes right now. What is that? Bro, what? <laughs> I am so due for a whole lash appointment, but that's neither here nor there. Today, we are doing a video with RPG, one of my favorite companies, because honey, you ain't gotta do nothing when you take it out the box. Well, little to nothing, but we ain't gonna chit chat. Let's go ahead and get straight into this video. This one is actually bangs. I haven't done bangs in such a long time, and you guys love when I wear bangs. I love when I wear bangs. It just, you know. So this is the wig we got. You already know the lace is always on point when it comes to RPG. Hopefully with this wig, I don't have to do much. I could just put it straight onto my head. Let's reveal the braids, close your eyes. So we got us some fresh straight backs. I'm gonna just try this on first, just to see what we're working with. Hopefully the only tool we gotta use today is the hot comb. But as you can see, they already gave it to me curly. Everything's already done. I'm getting I'm getting mullet vibes right here, but you know what? Um, I'm not gonna pluck this. I say that every time and then I end up plucking it. Like afterwards, because sometimes, honey, I just be like, what? Oh, I gotta fix what? So this is supposed to be the bang, as you guys can see. So what I'm gonna start doing is just hot combing it forward. This is how it's supposed to actually look. Now that compared to what I had on my head was just not, not, not. I think what it is, they just wanted to curl it and pre-curl it for me. All right, so I have my hot, my flat iron on and ready. Um, I did pluck the hairline and the parts off camera. I'm taking my bonnet off, close your eyes. And before we even go into spraying it, I'm like, oh. What I'm gonna do is make sure you oil the edges, guys. It's cold. I don't know where you live, but where I live, it's kind of cold in Georgia. And so obviously you can, hair is gonna get dry, breakage, especially if we're using hairspray. You know, hairspray is very drying to your edges. So I've been really just trying to focus on, you know, getting my edges to be back thick and so forth. So I'm gonna be using some oil, wild growth, almost finished, because I use it all the time. I try to at least oil my edges every morning whenever I remember, so. And don't put a lot because you don't want your, your wig to be greasy. Go ahead and brush your real hair back and then let's pull this wig up, like lift it and pull. And you gotta be careful though because with RPG's lace, it's always super, 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 super transparent and you don't wanna be able to see your real hair underneath. So make sure you're put, pulling the wig above a little bit more. Like don't minimize the forehead, but pull it up so that you can't see your real hair through it. I gotta always remember that. Transparent ain't a bad thing though. It's a good thing. Uh, get your hairspray, spray. <laughs> some crusties in it so I'm just gonna take some uh, hair serum and everything I'm using in this video guys will be down below all right so for the bangs they're supposed to be going forward and flat so what I want to focus on is just doing one side first and then work on the other side somewhere we getting somewhere I messed this one up though I gotta figure out how to fix that guy I'm gonna 
have to recurl this for sure because <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this wig. I'm starting to like it. These lashes though is really, these lashes are really fucking killing me. Like, mm-mm. I gotta fix those. But I really like my hair. I like where it's going. I'm just gonna add some more curls on this side because I'm just, you know. To eliminate frizz, I'm gonna get my hairspray and spray a little on the top. And then take your hand and just smooth it down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and curl this. I'm using my Hobbit curling iron. Um, curling wands from Amazon best freaking curling wand in the world okay Garnier Fructis Marvelous Oil, the best damn oil in the game. I always say about this one though. It doesn't make your hair oily, it just gives it a nice shine. Oh my god, these lashes. Don't do too much, it's gonna look like strings, and that's not the look I'm going for. Don't be so rough, you might give yourself a headache. I'm in love, I'm in like, I like it, it's cool. Okay, okay, RPG. RPG. I'm gonna go ahead and slay my makeup. So I'm gonna do it on camera for you guys because I haven't done my makeup on camera in a long time. So I'll do that, which is cool because I get to move up a little bit. So my brows are partly done, but I'm gonna fix them because they look nasty. You know what? We we need a primer. All right, so I'm gonna be going in with my Precisely My Brow Pencil. And uh, this is like one of my personal faves, but these brows, first of all, my brows are due to get done. I'm actually going to California tomorrow, so I should've got it done, but I don't do my eyebrows too often because I know how to work around it being a little outgrown. I think I should be fine. And being that we have bangs, we're gonna be doing bangs this weekend. I don't even have to, like, I'm not gonna be really showing my brows. I have a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to <laughs> my brows this week i really didn't know where i was gonna go with this this whole entire look but i think i just coughed up a whole entire look that i know is going to be a vibe so i can't wait for you guys to see the end result going in with a much lighter concealer i'm going to be doing the oops, the benefit boing cakeless concealer this is actually in the shade nine take a foundation brush and just clean that up next I'm gonna be using my benefit or professional primer the name that these companies come up with I'd love to be in a boardroom because how do you even come up with these type of names they're so creative So this is supposed to make your foundation go on super smooth and this is actually one of my favorites actually as you're putting it on it has like a really like like you can hear it like it gives your face like that really smooth feel it kind of like buffs out your foundation ahead of time my lancome foundation paired with the Too faced mr perfect brush It's so funny because this foundation shows up dark for me sometimes like on camera but like if I take a picture at night with this foundation I will look like Casper like I look like a ghost I, I don't know what the hell is up I don't know why it does that I gotta put a little extra on my mustache <laughs> going back in with that concealer from Benefit the number actually this is the number eight it's a little lighter than what I usually use for this look I feel like it kind of has to have that like super light look so it's okay but um, I would wear this in the daytime, but sometimes I actually have to use like a yellow based uh, setting powder just so that it doesn't look as white and chalky. Um, well, it doesn't get chalky, but so it doesn't look so white and ashy. Let's use those words. Mm -hmm. 
I was gonna use a brush and then I was like, wait, you know, let's just use a beauty blender. Just cause I feel like sometimes like it helps to pick up a lot of product. And since I put like so much, I'm like, I don't like when it's too wet underneath my eye. I fucking hate that. Put like the excess on your forehead right here, but you don't have to put OD. And then I kind of bring it down here a little bit. Yo, I haven't used this in a minute, but I'm gonna use this just to give me a contour. It's way darker than, and I'm gonna actually put it right here. I'm putting a little bit at a time because sometimes cream concealers be really messing me up and I'm like, ah! So we don't want that to happen. I'm gonna just bring it up little by little. And I put the excess on my little chin. Now get a setting powder that you actually love a lot. I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier. And this is the translucent honey one. And I love this one. Personal fave. It gives black girls, us girls, um, a nice yellow under finish, like undertone, I mean finish. It's not ashy or anything. So you won't be out here looking crazy. And I'm gonna use a beauty blender to apply this. And then with my Too Faced multi-complexion powder, I'm just gonna take that. Going back in with this powder. So we are getting a nice and smooth. Oh, we gotta do these lashes, baby. What the hell? I have this really dark MAC bronzer. <laughs> Girl, this bronzer is dark as fuck, but I use it sometimes just to add an extra pop of glam. Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. I'm gonna actually put a little bit more of this powder so that I kind of like. That's how you know it's coming out good. Do the squint and the nod. Now I'm gonna brush this down, brush this off. I'm gonna take my mascara. No, 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 no. We're gonna do our eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know how to do eyeliner with these damn things called lashes on my eyes. But we're gonna try. So the liner is on. I'm definitely loving it. Not too extra. I'm going to be using this Flower Beauty Mascara. Probably one of my favorites. This brush is so detailed and it really gets my bottom lashes looking amazeballs. Alright, before I, I'm saving the lashes for last because I don't even know if I have any lashes and I'm going to be real pissed. So I'd rather be pissed after I finish everything else. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna be using a burgundy, a burgundy lip liner. All right, so I have this red from, what is this color? No, from Flower, and this is called Scarlet Letter. So I'm gonna try this one first. Hopefully it looks good. I'm gonna take a brush and just like blend it in. Right, y'all gonna have to take me in my seven lashes because I can't find it and I'm not going to CVS right now. So I'm gonna need y'all to accept me as I am and who I am and accept me who I am for. I have to recurl this. BRB, I'll show you the end result. All right guys, so this is the end result. I love it, it's cute. Jeez. I'm not gonna lie to lashes would've killed this look but I ain't got none. So it's what it is. Take me as I am. Holy. Did their thing as usual, you know, I love the hair, love the wig, not, it technically wouldn't have taken no effort, but that's another story. But I love it, um, Knott's already came bleached, 
And I ain't gotta do nothing, huns. I could just curl this and wear that nice puffy look. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. My baby, I like you. My baby, I die for you. See you. You know, you know, see you.